What is chirping my peeps? Call me peeps here. Back for another episode of Pokemon Ultra Moon. I believe this is episode 11. One, one. And if I didn't like you guys, I'd give you two different ones. But I love you guys, especially if you're watching. So, these ones, not reserved for you, okay? You are number one. Anyways, the last episode, we just did a bunch of side quests, kind of, Tauros exploring, all that. I got a lot to go through, so let me read these notes really quick, and then we will very quickly move on with the episode. So, first of all, if you look at the bottom screen, I actually don't know if his eyes are sad right now. No, they are not. Apparently, Mario let me know on Twitter that when he has sad eyes, you click them, and it boosts, I guess, like, affection between you two, and you have a higher chance at a lot of roll or something. So, I ended up doing that, and we did get a lot of roll. We got two Rotom PP restores, so... I'm, I think they act like uh, max elixirs, and they restore the PP for all your moves. Don't know for sure, but I think that's what I remember reading. Uh, right here where we're at, this is where I trained Pichu. Um, and we actually saw a Volibee here for the first time, so we're also here because Pichu's going to gain a level and become a Pikachu. I decided to do that on screen. Uh, and when we take a look at levels, so I, I can never tell if someone's talking to me or not with these big things in. But... Um, yeah, and then one of these guys also dropped a pretty wing, so there's that. And when we do our team recap after I'm done talking, then, uh, then, uh, sorry, I'm getting distracted by someone that's probably not even there. Uh, I'll, you'll, it'll all explain itself. Um, so we also found our carbink. The first one that I found off screen did call the Sableye, which was nice. Took about five Pokeballs to get. Kind of stubborn, but you know, whatever, whatever. So, for right now, for right now, that's fine. So what we need to do is just get into a very quick battle and evolve this Pichu, okay? And maybe I could have been, well, I can't, I could have been explaining that. I guess I didn't have to play on the big screen. I could have been watching here and explaining, you know, peek up at my notes and explain. It's whatever it's done with. Uh, I probably should have done a part of the recap, but... The part of recap can wait, obviously. So, come on out, Levi. Levi. So, level 12. Easy, easy. Unfortunately, our defense is kind of booty. So, I usually go for a charm or two. That way, uh, you know, we don't take a crap ton of damage. I usually do two charms and then... Okay, Growl, that's fine. We're a special attacker. I usually do two charms and then... Two Thundershocks will take care of it. These bird Pokemon actually give decent XP. More specifically, the Volibee. The Volibee actually gives decent XP. Um, training is such a hoe when you don't have trainers to train on. Get static. Mmm, Pichu. Pichu's been doing that quite a bit. Good job, Pichu. And now we should outspeed. And we should kill. Unless that was a high roll or unless we get a min roll. We should kill them. And bye bye. So raising Pichu's, you gotta be kidding me, really, really. All right, well as long as we don't find a Volibee, we should be fine. Where is a? Okay. And as long as we don't get Pursuit trapped, I really hope we don't get Pursuit trapped. That would suck. Give me a Volibee. I haven't. S yes, Volibee is worth a ton of XP. So as you can see, Pichu's only level twelve. Uh, obviously, I want a Pikachu, and I wanted to do it on screen, and to get Electro Ball, we have to do it before level 13, so, uh, Windigo also only hit 17, because, like I said, training on random Pokemon, I don't know if I said that, but I meant to say it, training on just random wild Pokemon is such a hoe, they don't give too much XP, at least they didn't, once I found these bird Pokemon, they actually did give a decent amount, but whatever, so... Getting the Pichu's happiness up was actually not that hard. We just kept the Soothe Bell on, and all I did was Tauros run around for not very long at all, it doesn't feel like. So if you don't know, for every, what I read, 128 steps, you get one happiness point. So with the Soothe Bell, Soothe Bell, obviously, that's double the time. 128, you get two happiness points. And Tauros moves really fast, so... Also, look, our first Z-move on screen, I think. I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think. But, uh, yeah, it's... Okay. Alright. Nasty plot. Uh, yes, please. Goodbye, Tail Whip. Nasty plot? Heck to the yeah. And? 
And we'll do our party recap right after this. Guess I might as well put this in my notes, huh? Change. I can't type. Pichu to Pikachu. That was almost perfect timing, and I did not mean for it to be. Did not mean for it to be at all. Uh, where's Electro Ball? Where's Electro Ball? Look at that little Pikachu. Look at that cute little Pikachu. That's our cute little Pikachu. Now we wait for a Thunderstone. Where do we find one? I don't know. Electro Ball? Yeah. Yeah. And now we can take the Soothe Bell off. I don't know what else to give Pikachu, so Pikachu's just going to take leftovers for now. Um... I kind of want to get rid of Charm, but I'd rather rely on Charm. Charm's a guarantee, whereas Sweet Kiss is not. I mean, if you confuse someone, there's no guarantee that they will hit themselves. Whereas Charm, you're guaranteed to lower their attack by two stages, which is pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. All right. Now what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and heal up, do a party recap, change our swaps, uh, teams around. My plans for the episode are to go to Mantine Beach, okay, then go to the Pokemon Alola Club, Pokemon Alola Club, go to the Pokemon Photo Club, uh, turn in this, this side quest, I believe there's only one side quest, I did end up finding both of the totem stickers on my own while I was just running around trying to get happiness points for Pichu, so we're gonna go grab those, turn in the quests, and kinda, kinda wanna just end at the start of the next island, that's kinda what I'm aiming for here, so let's see what we can do. Now, before we do our party recap, let's swap our item around so that we have a party recap with the proper item. Uh, full restores the PP of your battling Pokemon. See, I don't know if that's one move, both moves. I have no idea, to be honest. Uh, oh, Pikachu can learn Brick Break now. Interesting. Interesting. Where are my items? There's that pretty wing that we got. There's leftovers. Will you take the leftovers? Why, I actually don't know, but whatever. So, Pikachu obviously is still going to need levels. Oh, we also need to go to the shopping mall. Let's very quickly do our party recap. Um, because we already kind of know the party now. So here we have Levitin the Pikachu. I actually don't know how that name's pronounced. I should get, look into that. Static is the ability, as we know. Leftovers, Thunderstruck, Charm, Nasty Plot, Electro Ball, Nice and Neutral nat Nature, Bashful. Next, we have Crabrawler, our fighting type. Wind uh, he's named Windigo. Iron Fist. I actually forgot what Iron Fist is. Let's take a look real quick. No, stop. Uh, powers up punching moves. Ooh. So, I don't think any of these... Like, I don't know what counts as a punting move. With a punch. That probably counts as a punching move. That does not. So, stuff like Rock Smash, Bullet Punch, uh, stuff like that. Maybe... I don't know if Aura Sphere will count. Probably not, because it's special, but... Pursuit, Rock Smash, Work Up, and Brick Break. I believe we could also teach him Smackdown. And our starter, last but not least, Kaopora the Dartrix with Work Up, Razor Leaf, Ominous Wind, Peck, uh, Overgirls our ability, Holding the Sharp Beak. Nice and hasty nature for you and rash nature for our Dartrix. Which actually does not look like a terrible nature. Does not look like a terrible nature. So, we're done. Next on our list is... Hmm, we're actually going to be running kind of in a circle-ish. Uh, not really. There also is berries, and I would like to grab those. Lepa berry. Lepa has to be the, my favorite berry. Because it restores 10 PP to one move. 10 PP to one move. How is that not your favorite berry? If that's not your favorite berry, fight me. Just kidding, I don't want to fight. I don't want no problems. I don't want no problems. So we're almost 10 minutes in this episode doing very minimal. I apologize. But I felt like it's better to just, especially if Pichu's, like, if I were a Pokemon that wasn't going to be on the team permanently, then I wouldn't care. Like, Baneary or something. But, uh, obviously I care. Alright. Hey, you kind of save that. Let me see your decks for a second. Hmm, I see. It's ice turned into jewels. Is it eight jewels? Ha, huh, what? Does it mean save light? Eat carving? Ha, huh, it can't be. Alright, thanks for this, pal. Now I'll go try and catch one for myself. Here, it's not much, but here's your pay. You've earned it. Mm, three grand. I will take that bouquet de cacho. So he's gonna go catch one for his bride. Yeah, so if you don't know, uh, recap. 
I caught the Sableye off screen because you have to go to the 10 carat hill cave, the little cave between 10 carat hill and route one. You have to find a carbine and you need that carbine to SOS a Sableye. That's the only way to get Sableye, at least on this first island. I think that's the only way to get Sableye in the game, just at all. And the funny thing is that the Sableye will actually attack the carbine. So that's why that whole thing came in, because once the Sableye comes in, it just attacks the carbine. And that's why this man said what he did. Anyways. So what is next in our list? I don't think we need to go to Icky Town. I will t oh, I'm sorry, Rock Ruff. I feel so bad running past that Rock Ruff all the time. I think everything we need to do is down here, correct? <laughs> Excuse me. Let me look at my notes while we walk over there. Uh, grab the sit. So we turned in the quest. Shopping mall. Oh, we gotta go visit our mom real quick. And then everything else we do is here. Okay. Yeah, we gotta very quickly visit mom. Not necessary, but... If you know who I am, then you know I like to do every little thing. Annoying or not. Every little thing, annoying or not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're doing great, Mr. Four. You cleared the... Mele made a grand trial, right? Oh, oh yeah, and did you check out 10 Carat Hill near the Pokemon Research Lab? I heard there are rare Pokemon there. Catch lots of Pokemon, okay? Because I want to learn about lots of Alolan Pokemon, too. Alright, that's it. I don't even think you have to come visit your mom before you leave. Which is kind of weird. I felt like that would have been the next objective. I feel like it should be kind of necessary to come say hi to your mom. Pokemon does a lot of unuse unnecessary stuff, but I feel like that might be a little necessary. You know. So you don't just dip out on your mother like that. Anyways, so we'll do these in the closest order. And first on our agenda here is the shopping district that opened up. Now, originally this, I don't think this is actually, this is the haircut place. Originally, the shopping district did not open up to post game in Sun and Moon. So it's interesting that they open this up to us now. It's very interesting that they open this up to us now. Alola. Mm-hmm. Hello, beautiful. What do you want? Goods and services will astound you. Okay, whatever. A poster. Why is she still looking for more souvenirs? It's just like Pokemon can only learn four moves at a time, right? They can only carry one item time, too. I read that wrong. Hey, under this poster, there's nothing. Of course there's no switch, silly. I wonder if that's going to play into effect later with Giovanni. That would actually be kind of cool. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Get your clod hoppers off my floor. I just finished cleaning there. Hey, me, what a world. And today's the day that they hold the Alola Ryan Rodeo right here in the mall, too. Uh, the whole place was just covered with Pokemon. Well, you know, you know what I mean. Don't make me say it. I'm so sorry. That's not going to cut it, Buster. Not even close. You're helping me clean this mess up again. Again? Okay, I'll help. That's right, you will. Did they just break the fourth wall by saying again? That's right, you will. Any decent person would do the same. Nothing like that. Use this grandson of mine. You know how to show respect for your elders. Let's get you started. First off, you better meet this sweetheart. Did they really break the fourth wall by saying, help me again? Little sweet Grimy the Grimer. She's a real gourmet. She loves to eat, and the things she loves to eat is garbage. We're partners in this line of work, so you give her a nice warm hello. Grimy. See, that grammar is real interested in you. Hmm. You do change your clothes every day, don't you? And bathe and brush your teeth. I guess that doesn't matter right now. Though, let me explain what I'm expecting of you. You've got to make my floor spotless again. Collect all the Pokemon, or trash. <laughs> yeah, trash. That you tracked all over my fl clean floor and then bring it here to my sweet Grammy. She'll take care of the rest. What? You say you don't see anything? Don't think you're getting out of this so easy. You've got your mind, you've got to get your mind in the game. Ready to fill your heart with the sanitation spirit. We reject all dirt. We reject all dirt. Pound. We won't allow trash. Chant that a few times and look at the flow. I think you've got it now, haven't you? Then, then let's get started. Focus all your emotion on dirt and trash. You can see the trash around you. Then go, young soldier, on the battle against dirt. Destroy every last speck of hateful trash. Okay, I'll take that. We'll talk to people on our way around. I don't remember where all the trash is, so hopefully we find them. I don't want to hand them to you one by one. Shoveled the waste in delightfully. My stink sense tell me that there's still waste to be found. In five more spots. Battle on, young warrior. Don't something sent here from a ranch somewhere so all the pokemon all the ride pokemon they show can be parasong yeah i don't think so pretty sure that guy says the same thing don't know about the other one 
Don't run down on me. You're gonna pick up every last piece of waste. Okay, I guess we're not exploring inside. Man, this is a big mall. This is actually gonna take uh, some time. Oh gosh, I forgot how well some of those blend in. You gotta really focus. Oh, what? You can only carry two at a time, huh? So there should be three more? Four more? You can only carry one at a time. Are you serious? Oh, that's trash. Wait, 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 lady, 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 wait, don't leave. Oh, you're the same lady. Why would you talk to me? You should have left. <laughs> Why'd you talk to me? You should have left. Now, if I remember correctly, there's one in the top left, right? There should be one behind these benches. I think? No, 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 no. You picked up a big surprise from a Pokemon. Oh, gosh. That is disgusting. That is super disgusting. Oh gosh, the way they worded that too. That is nasty. Oh, that's nasty. The words of Cleveland Brown. Okay, now where could this last one be? I feel like it's gotta be... It's gotta be somewhere in the middle or right side, right? Ha. Up here somewhere. Aha. They really think they slick. Pokemon Company, you really think you slick, huh? I don't think so. Now, as we know, there is a ride show here. I'm not going to watch it in case someone's watching this for the first time and never saw Sun or Moon. I'm not going to spoil the ride Pokemon. If I remember, we'll come back later. If not, I'm sorry, but hopefully we'll remember. You've knocked out every last piece of waste on the floor. The Grammy is getting stuffed. Well done, very well done. Even you could eat off this floor now. I don't think so. I think I'll name you a Rides and Janitor, and I'll give you this to go with that title. TM49 round. Interesting. Is it because we made rounds to gather the trash? Have a delightful song in your help will help you get through even the hardest jobs. Well, there you go. Consider reimbursement for your help today. You weren't. I mean, you are the one who made the mess in the first place, but still, you were a real help. Grandma also took a shine to you. Maybe you'll come help us again someday. Only if you ever reward. So, oh. That pose that Rodan was just in, that was his sad pose. Yeah, this. So you give him a little tap. He gets happy. See, he gets a heart. Oh, yeah, and it, uh, it apparently increases your time for Lotto Rotto time. Oh, yeah, baby. I don't plan on using many of these. Like, maybe the PP ones we'll use very late game if need be. I'll try to refrain from using them, though. But, I mean, by the time we'd probably need to use them, we'll have plenty of Lepa Berries anyways. Roto XP points. Hmm. See, I might even use that one, too. That would help with grinding Pokemon when I have to grind Pokemon in the wild. <laughs> Whoa. What a terrifying restaurant. Hey, you. If you're looking for an elegant dining experience, then let me tell you, you're in the wrong place. So this is the battle restaurant. I don't think I ever did this in the Moon LP. The battle buffet. We offer all you can eat buffet here and all the delicious stuff and lots of it. Chow down to your heart's content. Have our shoppers free when to buy a lot of Pokemon trainers. If you and another one of our patrons have a dispute over some food, you can settle it with a good old Pokemon battle. Whether or not you'll leave here satisfied depends on the strength of your Pokemon. That's what the battle buffet is all about. How can I help you today? Uh, you can help me by showing me the dough to get out of here. Not that I need you to show me, but I want you to show me anyways. I'm devoting what's left of my life to help young trainers draw. Oh, is this the elemental hyper beams? I don't... What moves you got? Yeah, those must be the elemental hyper beams. Okay. Teach a special move. That'll be Dartrix. What move is this? Grass Pledge? It is Grass Pledge. What is Grass Pledge and is it useful? A column of grass hits the target. When used with its water equivalent, its power increases and a vast swamp appears. Interesting. Well, Grass Pledge is actually not that bad. It's actually pretty decent, to be honest. Kind of don't want to get rid of Razor Leaf, but let's do it. I mean, our special attack is higher, albeit very, very slightly, but it is higher. And that move had, what, 25? I think 25 more 
damage base damage that's what she does now didn't you didn't we get our the antique shop uh oh yes the orbs no thanks i think she wants money and i don't have money true collectors okay uh didn't they throw a lady in the middle here to pick up one of the special pokemon i feel like it was diancy but i'm not a hundred percent on that i do feel like it was diancy though all right well here's the last shop the clothing store it's time for us to pick out some new threads huh time for us to pick out some new threads huh i swear somebody is you know i started watching stranger things yesterday by the way it's 9 30 right now i could not sleep i literally have not slept for almost 23 hours now i got maybe a half hour nap in and i don't feel tired like that's the thing i don't feel tired anyways I started Stranger Things yesterday, and I kind of binge watched it. I think I'm on episode 7 now, I think. And if I'm not tired after recording one or two more episodes after this one, then I'll probably watch another episode. But, yeah, it's actually uh, a lot more decent than I thought. My sister and my mom tried showing me episode, I think, like 11 of the second season or something. Looked really stupid to me. I did not, I didn't understand anything. Everything was out of context. It was really stupid. So I came home, watched the first episode, and I actually had context. And I was like, okay, I might get into this. And then they just leave you with cliffhanger after cliffhanger after cliffhanger after cliffhanger. And you're like, okay, I got to see what happens. And that's how they hooked me. That is how they hooked me. And that, kids, is how I met your mother. Netflix and chilling to... Hold on. Hold on one second. Seemed like there was something stuck in my mic. All right, what you got for sale, lady? What y'all got? College. Gosh, dang. You can tell these guys fancy. Oh, you fancy, huh? Oh, you fancy, huh? Oh, you fancy, huh? Oh, you fancy, huh? Hair done, nails done, everything bit. I said, nah, hair's done, nails done, everything bit. Oh, you fancy, huh? I don't know if those are the exact lyrics, but it's something like that. Ah, <sighs> that actually fits with our outfit pretty well. I'm not a fan of the collared shirt myself. Ooh, ooh, the pinstriped. Ooh, ooh, I want to come back for some pinstriped. Pinstriped. Some... What? They have a Kamo'o breastplate. Are you telling me they have a whole Kamo'o armor set? Oh my gosh. Super expensive. This whole outfit looks like it's going to be like 6 mil. Or not 6, 3 mil. But dang. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure I'll buy them if we can get the money. But it's not something I'm going to put priority into. But gosh, dang. These are just loafers. No one cares about loafers. Ooh, now backpack. A leather backpack. Can I flip around? Let me flip around. Ooh, ooh, that's a nice backpack. Mm, that green backpack. Oh, yeah. Oh, that green backpack. If only that were pink. So mad. Look at that. The helmet. Oh, they can't have anything to do with glasses, can they? No. Well, this store is just a tad bit out of my price range. Now, do you sell different things? Oh, this is the Grassidia? Grassidia, I think? I don't know. Uh, have an effect on certain Pokemon. Okay. Well, I think what we'll do now, let us pick up our... We can leave this place. We're done here. Let us pick up our two totem stickers, and then we'll go to the beach. Right? I think uh, totem stickers are the last two things we have to do here. Oh, excuse me. Let me look at the notes. Uh, so let's see. I explained Rotom. We're grabbing the stitchers. Turned in the quest. Went shopping. Went to mom's. Okay. So. Let me get rid of that. So it's hard to type one-handed for me. I'm a touch typer, but when I'm trying to reach to the left side of the keyboard with my right hand or vice versa, it's kind of hard to touch type. Alright, so here's a sticker we missed. And again, I found both of these on my own, just running around trying to get happiness with Pichu. So, I'm actually glad I was able to come back and find them. 
I, he might be ahead of me still though. There might be one or two that Nappy found that I missed. I don't know. I just know last I remember him saying he was at 15, so. Unless I accidentally fell asleep when I watched his thing, he should still be at 15. Now the other one here is just right back here on the Malasada shop. Look at that. Look at that. All right, now we will go to the beach. Now it is, we defeated the Hala, it is time for us to go to the beach. It's, let's go to the beach, man. Let's get our way, way. I don't know the rest of Kesha's song. I think that's Kesha. Maybe? Yes? No? I don't know. Anyways, down to the beach we go. For a second, I thought that was a Pokemon up there because that was a colorful... It's a very colorful board. Hey, yo. Meet last seven Pokemon on your journey. That's how I became friends with Mantine here back in the days of my own island challenge. Uh... What? Okay. Have I been lied to? I did what you asked. Okay. Uh, do I just... Is something gonna happen if I go into this cave? I'm not gonna lie, I'm... A little confused. Uh... Okay, I guess we'll continue on with the story first. Zubat. Hmm. Should we test out our brand new Electro Ball? I think we should. On a level 6? Bye. God, I forgot we got Nasty Plot. We have Nasty Plot Electro Ball. Oh, gosh. A crit! The first Electro Ball in level... I'm just gonna start calling her... I don't know what I'm gonna call her. Frickin' Leve. Just decides to crit this man. Alright, well, to the photo club with us, I guess. Not exactly how I expected this to go. I'm gonna be, gonna be honest with you. Not quite how I expected this to go, but that's okay. That's okay, a little. Uh, I was about to see, I was about to ask, am I going the right way to the photo club? Now, this photo is gonna be inaccurate because Pichu was not on the team. Neither uh, Crabrawler was. So it's going to be slightly inaccurate. What do you want? Alright. Let me in. We're here to take our picture, darling. Oh, hello, trainer. It looks like you got a Z Power Ring. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Here at the Alola Photo Club, you can take photos with your favorite Pokemon as you strike with your favorite poses. You should definitely give it a try after you've come this far already. Swell. So swell. Tap the option you want to change when you're ready. Start photo. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. But if I'm going to take one with anyone, it's going to be this edgy, this edgy boy of mine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Alright. Go ahead and start this dumb photo shoot. To take awesome shots, have your Pokemon take different actions to capture a cool pose. Flip this switch and your Pokemon will perform the actions it uses in battle when playing cutely with you. Tap this to call Pokemon Call button and you can ask your Pokemon to perform another action. Press the action button here to choose what kind of action you'll take. Then first tap the button, you'll perform that action. Tap it again to pause and draw the action to capture a great pose. Select the tabs on the left to con change controls. Tap it the top left will display controls, bottom, movement, okay. Well, I really do not care about this, to be honest. You lazy stack of crap, do something. Fighting. Oh. Flying. Didn't he say you could pause it? He lied to me. Oh, I can pause it for my guy. Oh, I want it when he... Yeah, I want it when he does that. Yeah. How do I take... Okay. Go ahead. Do that again. No, no, no. no. Jump up again. J 
jump up again. I'm ready. I'm ready. I have to watch the both screens. Actually, I'll just watch the bottom screen. Oh, please tell me I got it. Uh, that's good enough. Not necessarily what I care about, but... Six photos will be taken at one foot. Tap and put stars on the photos you want to save and hit confirm. Okay. Uh, so you want to take it slightly early. I kind of like, kind of like that one. You're like, cool. Yeah, I like that one the best. We'll just save that one. Whatever. Photos are not, yeah. Okay, I really don't care about this. I should have just sped through this. K poor seems content. What's that supposed to mean? We're done. Don't care. I did it because we had to. Ooh, I like your photo. I'll give you a little something special so you can check out your photos anytime too. Yippee, we got a photo album. Can't you just see the excitement on my face? Ah. Uh, X, which you can open by tapping X. I would have never guessed. It's like saying I can kiss a girl. All I have to do is go kiss a girl. Oh, thanks. That's great advice. Decorate your photos with stickers. Add some pizzazz. Why would I want to add pizzas? Duh. I mean, pizza makes a lot of things better. But a picture? And eh, you know what? Maybe. If you want to choose to share your jazz up photos from your own, anyone who comes to your festival plaza can see two spoilers. Spoilers, lady. We don't have a festival plaza yet. You ho. No, I don't care. I really don't care. Help you with capturing more backgrounds. Okay. Explore the islands. Yeah, okay. I really don't care. Uh, are any of you going to give me anything? Does it, my camera won't do anything like that. Maybe this time I had a little upgrade too. Oh uh, yeah, originally from Kanta region, right? Uh, the easily people. Tell which region your Pokemon came from. Oh, interesting. So she'll tell you what region any Pokemon you have is from. Oh, hello. Alright. I'm just going to turn around once. Turn around twice and play peekaboo, then get out of here. I mean, I don't know if you get anything for doing any of these, but maybe you'll get something for befriending them all. I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. Please don't ask me, because I don't know. Peekaboo. Peekaboo! Uh, alright, sorry, it's time to wave goodbye. Have fun, Comfey. Hmm, Comfey's another Pokemon. No, I do not care. Comfy is another Pokemon that I actually would not mind throwing on the team. Uh, oh my gosh. I'm just going to very quickly go through these. I want to take amazing photos of the officer of the world. If you agree, my five master techniques. Picking your poses. First and foremost, imagine what kind of photo it is you want to capture. Think about all the different poses you could make and try to decide what you want to do. This is a good time to, re to imagine which Pokemon you'd like to appear with you in the photo. 2. Placing your Pokemon. While you've got an image in mind, next decide where you should place your Pokemon. As you move your Pokemon about, considering how it'll look in re relation to your pose and position. 3. Changing directions. Once you've settled on your Pokemon's position, turn it to decide which direction it should face. Operating the camera. Operate the camera like a pro to capture a shot exactly as it, it looked in your imagination. It will be crucial to first move the camera to face the direction you were Im imagining. Once you've got it in the right subject, use the zoom functions on your subjects to look spot on. 5. Taking the best shot. If you've made it this far, you're in the home stretch. Once your Pokemon makes an action, that's it. Slam the shutter to catch that perfect pose for your perfect picture. Once you get the hang of all that, also keep in mind how the background images move too. If you can do all that, you'll be a real pro. There are lots of backgrounds too, so have a look. I'm done here. That was the best topic. That was my favorite topic, was I'm done here. Oh gosh, they really have a green screen? Or a green room, rather? Jeez. Doesn't look like Comfy's a fan. Ah, interesting. Fitting rooms. Okay, well now what? Hey, there you go, Miss Tafel. Oh, look at that Brion. Brion? Brion? I bet you and your Pikachu got a great show to get at the photo club, right? Now it's time for a next stop, a cola island here we go. You're not taking a photo? Man, once I get started with all the poses and the stickers and things, I can't stop myself. I spend ages making sure Brion is looking awesome, so I should take, so I should hold off on taking any more photos of my own for now. Wouldn't want to leave you bored and hanging. Just think, I wonder what kind of trials we'll face next. 
Oh man. Hey, good timing, Mr. Fine. How I've got I've just got the old girl also ready to set sail. Oh yeah, about so about that poofies. Uh, I was thinking that I'd really like to head to a cool uh, island with Mantine. And I want to see Mr. Four take a shot at Mantine surfing too. But the boat. I should have said but the boat. Shoots ya yeah, the Mantine from Big Wave Beach on Route 2. You saw them right. Hey, right, well how it's all up to you. The island challenge is about journeying together with Pokemon after all. <laughs> yeah, see you. I uh, saw so you on the island, Poofisa. Mr. Four, if you want to go to get, I'll be at Route 2's Big Wave Beach. Um, I was hoping to ask a favor of you, Mr. Four, if that's alright. Sure. You see, Nebby is. It's ho real home is far away from here, and I want to help it get home. It's like I told you before. Nebby saved my life once when I was in trouble. Now I want to save it. I feel like there's not much I can do on my own since I'm not a Pokemon trainer. But if I had a real trainer like you helping me, Mr. Ford, then maybe. But I probably shouldn't ask near a near stranger to help, right? I know it's just my own wish and it has nothing to do with you. Of course I'll help, girl. You even gotta sweat it. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad. I really didn't know what else to do. Then I suppose the two of us will get to see one another on Akala Island next too. Yeah, yeah. Let's this is hit big wave beach to try some anti surfing. No dropping me in the water though. All right, well now we head over there. And I think that is where I will go ahead and end the episode is in the front of the beach. So next time we will take our surf over and we will actually, we'll probably fight how if it's the same as last time. Oh gosh. You have an island challenge amulet plus normal MZ and finding MZ. So it would clear it would seem that you've cleared the trial of Olympias, have you? I even battled Hala. Congratulations. Oh, it's uh Sam's it's oh, I forgot his name. Oh this one is Samson Oak, okay. The other one's what's the other one's name? Gary Oak, I think. No. No, Gary Oak's the grandson. I forgot his name. Oh, well, hello there. Good to meet you. I'm Oak, Sam Sinoke. I'm a Pokemon researcher, and I'm looking into the totem Pokemon found around here. Yes, totem Pokemon. Why are they so large? What gives them that burning aura? Don't you find yourself wondering as well? Uh, not really. No. <laughs> Is that so? You may, say, you may say that now, but I think that hearing what I have to propose will change your mind. I want you to collect certain stickers for me to receive a totem-like Pokemon for yourself. That's right, I mean totem stickers. You can find totem stickers here and there. Peel them off whenever you find them and try to collect them all. If you collect... He'll give me a... Hold on, let me read this. If you collect 20 totem stickers to show me, I'll give you a fine radicate. Don't let me down, young Mr. Four. After all, you are the trainer that Professor Kukui entrusted with Rotom there. Z I'll be around ha he ha he uh, he a beach on Akala Island. If you ever need to find me, you can reach it with a spot of Mantine surfing. So, for I'm assuming every 20 totem stickers we find, he'll give us one of the totem Pokemon because Radicate's a totem Pokemon. So, hmm, that is interesting. Rotom, why do you get sad so much? Rotom gets sad eyes quite a bit. Now that Mario pointed it out, I should be seeing it a little bit more. Now that Mario pointed it out, I should be seeing it a little bit more. Alright, so before we walk too far, I'm going to save here. Next time, we will Mantine Surf. And I'm glad we found out what these stickers are for. So it pretty much is like the Zygarde course. We're collecting them for Pokemon. It's just it's not going to be one Pokemon that you can fuse together at the end. It's a bunch of totem Pokemon, so... Dude, is he gonna give us a wishy washy? A wishy washy? A fomantis? A salazzle? Oh! Oh, that would be so great. I'm gonna stop hoping. I will go ahead and see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, you're excited for Mantine Surfing. I am. Peeps out.